Hello everyone. In this video of GDNT, I'm going to talk about um, the difference between datum and datum feature and then datum feature simulator and simulated datum. These are terms that if you look at them, they all have the word datum in them and they are not the same thing. So these are some terminologies that you might hear in um, GDNT when people talk about it. And I wanted to clarify the differences between them. So, uh, you know, uh, the um, basically GDNT uh, language a little bit better. So, what is datum? What is datum feature? If you look at my previous video, you know that datum is a theoretical, is a perfect theoretical reference, okay? So when I have this part and I model it in CAD, then I can use, let's say, this bottom plane, right? This bottom plane, this bottom surface, or let's say the axis, huh? the axis of uh, this shaft, or as I said, this bottom surface of this part or a point or anything, those perfect theoretical things in CAD, I call them a datum. So a datum in general can be a point, an axis, or a plane, which is perfect. And this is in the CAD model. Right? Now, when you make the part, the part is not going to come out of the machine perfect. Again, here these deformations are exaggerated, but just for better understanding, so a datum feature is corresponding to that datum in your CAD model, but this is that physical imperfect, okay? So this, if I want to say, this is the theoretical perfect, right? But this datum feature is the imperfect And it's a physical, real thing, okay, in reality, in real life. And sorry for my bad handwriting. So uh, the statum feature is that. So here, now, um, I cannot really uh, have this uh, axis in real life, right? This axis is something that is just in theory. Corresponding to that, I have, of course, what? I have this shaft here, right? So this shaft here, or this other one, right? They basically represent that axis, okay? So I can have a what? I can have a pin or a shaft for which axis is the datum, but that pin or shaft itself is the what? Is the datum feature. Or this bottom surface of this physical part, now that it's made, and if you look at it, maybe it has what? This ups and downs. That is a what? That is the datum feature, okay? So a surface in real physical part corresponds to the theoretical plane in the CAD model. Also, if you had a cylindrical hole similar to a pin or shaft, that is the feature, the datum feature corresponding to the datum axis. If you have a slot or a tap or a width, here we are talking about the center plane, right? So in the CAD model, you might here talk about a plane like this that is passing through what? Through the middle of this uh, basically tap here, right? Or slot in this case, okay? But in reality, of course, I refer to what? I refer to basically this, uh, uh, this slot here. So when I refer to the planes of this slot, right? When I refer to these two in green, I'm talking about what? Their middle plane as a datum. Okay, so these two planes are the physical datum feature, but this uh, theoretical mid plane is what? The corresponding datum. If I'm talking about a single point and a sphere, the sphere, or half a sphere in this case, is this cut here, 
okay this cut here is a half a spherical cut and again the corresponding datum is this uh, theoretical center point there so in general as i wrote for you if you shrink the dimension of a datum feature to zero if you squeeze it to zero it will be what the datum that you can see so if you shrink down the sphere, it will be a point. If you shrink down a surface to zero thickness, it will be a plane. If you shrink down a pin or a shaft, it will be what? An axis and so on. And if you shrink these two planes to come and merge to each other at the mid plane, then that's the mid plane. Okay, so this is datum versus datum feature. Now we have datum feature simulator and simulated datum. These two are for inspection. This is when we are doing what? We are doing inspection and measurements. Here we talk about these two. These two, these two, this one is in the CAD. The second one is after manufacturing. Now this last two is, they are about when we are doing measurements for inspection. So how do we measure this part and how we, we make sure that this part is made to the tolerance? Well, we typically put it on what? We put it on an inspection table and then what? Then we try to take away the degrees of freedom of the part. So the part is fixed. So we establish a datum reference frame as you can, you have seen in my previous videos. And now when all the degrees of freedom are gone, those objects that we use to take the degrees of freedom off, we call them a datum simulator, okay, or a datum feature simulator. So a datum feature simulator in this case is what? Is this inspection table and these two angle plates, these guys, which you can see here like that. So these are physical objects again. These are what? These are physical objects. And of course, with physical comes what? Imperfect objects that we use to create what? To establish the datum reference frame. Okay? These are those, and of course, here, if you put that part onto the simulator, datum feature simulator, and if you zoom in, not only the surface of the object is imperfect, the surface of the simulator is also what? Imperfect. So in reality, right, these surfaces are contacting each other only at these high points, basically, right? Okay. So now what is simulated datum? Simulated datum is again a what? It's a theoretical. This is a theoretical perfect datum derived from what? Derived from the imperfect surface of the simulator. So if you pass a plane that you can see here, this one, this green one, if you pass it through these high points here, on the surface of the object, right? If you pass it through these high points, that a perfect green plane is what we call a simulated what? Datum, and that is what is the uh, basis for our measurements, okay? Or that's what a CMM machine would give you. So hopefully you learned these uh, definitions. The last thing I want to emphasize is that datum feature symbol placement is very important in the CAD model. So here, if you look, I have an extension line, and then on this extension line, I have two datums, R and K. R is right on the top of this dimension, so this dimension and R are aligned, right? You can see they are vertically aligned. That means R is referring to this dimension. Or R is basically for a feature of size. And when it is a what? When it's a width like this, you're talking about what? You're talking about the mid plane. So here, R is what? Is the center plane. Is the width, the mid plane of the width. Now this K on the other hand is not aligned with this dimension 25. 
So in this case, K is just a surface. Which surface? Of course, the surface that has the extension. So K is simply what? Is the back surface, okay? So K is what? K is that surface because it's not aligned with the dimension. This R that is aligned with the dimension, that's the center plane. So note that the location of this datum on this extension line does matter. If it's right above the dimension or not right above the dimension, it's a different thing. And the important, also the other important thing is you never, because here at the end of the day, we are talking about this mid plane, right? Or this axis, uh, in, uh, this, this line here, right? We never put, even if you are talking about the axis here, not even the mid plane, let's say I'm talking about what, I'm, I want to put a, a datum on the axis of this shaft. I will never ever put a datum symbol on what? On this uh, axis here. You never put the datum symbol on the axis. If you want to put it, you have to put it on what? You have to put it on that dimension corresponding to that shaft. So here, this A, right? This A should come right here. This is where A should go, not over there. And I just remember one more thing from my uh, GDNT class that you see, I use different letters for the datum. There are three letters in the uh, English alphabet that you cannot use for a datum, and they are I. O and what? Q. These three letters you would never use for a what? For a datum. Okay? You never use these three letters for a datum. Just wanted to let you know. So hopefully this video was useful to you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.